This past week, I had the pleasure of testing recipes from around the world. I'm going to cut to a clip now of where I used a random number generator to pick the different countries' recipes. And let's crack on with the video. Up next, we're going to go for number three, random number generator. Number 10. Okay. Let's see what number 10 is. Breakfast in Portugal. Oh, stuffed croissants and plenty of coffee served in the sun. That sounds fun. Okay, next number we've just generated is number 22 for our fourth breakfast, which is a hearty Scottish breakfast. And I have never tried haggis, so that is going to be very interesting to try. Okay, and then as you just saw, we've got number 38 which is a Hungarian breakfast, which I'm so excited to explore all these. A breakfast adventure, oh yeah, baby. Okay, so for our first brekkie, we're keeping it super simple and this looks delicious. It kind of looks almost like a bruschetta. It's called pan con tomate. I don't know how to pronounce that. This one they said in the recipe, they said it is all about making sure you have the highest possible quality of everything. Um, because it's so simple, you need to invest in the produce. Here we have sourdough. I mean, it's one of my favorite breads. So I'm just gonna cut that up and put that in the toaster. This is literally the simplest, quickest thing. I'll be honest with you, uh, toast is my normal breakfast. Any form, peanut butter on toast, toasted crumpets, whatever that toast looks like. Also, I'm gonna cut it on a diagonal because I just feel like, for some reason, it makes it look a bit more special. Why is that? I don't know. Look at these fancy tomatoes. They literally smell like they smell like, it's so weird that tomatoes, if they're like on a vine, they smell like the vine. Anyway, apparently we need to cut this into quarters and peel it. Okay guys, I hope you're ready for a very elaborate tutorial. We have our toast. Yeah. And then we take the humble garlic, which we've cut in half, and you rub it over the sweet, sweet bread. Now let me tell you, I've actually done this before when making... We're making bruschetta and it makes it taste incredible. Oh my gosh, I'm actually salivating. It says we take our tomato that we've peeled and we rub that over it, but then it's not getting much tomato. Rubby rub the Mr. Tomato. Then I also went crazy and bought this Spanish Piqual extra virgin olive oil because I thought, well, Spanish in it. Oh my god, oh, wow, sorry, but they did when they said invest in your in what you're buying, they were right, and then it says drizzle with olive oil. And do a little bit of sea salt. Just like that. Sorted. I love that. Very quick and efficient. Now it's taste test time. Wow. I feel like it needs more garlic. My one critique. I feel like I want more tomato on there. Do you know what I mean? But I guess that's the whole vibe. Maybe I should put more on. You're on, I'm on this last bit here. I'm gonna slice some tomato really thinly. I know this technically isn't the recipe. I'm gonna see what that tastes like when it's got like a wedge of tomato on. It's so much, you know how it's good already? It's even better when you put the tomato on. It's a whole new, a whole new destination. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good morning. Hiya. Welcome. Welcome. Don't judge the appearance. All right. Uh, I should probably sort my hair out, but we can't do all that. All right. Um, so today we are going to be making porcata, which is these little, like, they almost look a bit like cheese scones. I'm really excited to try these because I'm all for something savory, to be honest. Equal parts, butter, cottage cheese, and a little hiccup, sorry, um, and flour. So we're just going to wash that all in and then you knead it into a dough and it seems again it seems really easy but I feel like every recipe that I've looked at for this is so different so I think it could be one of those things that each family has their like own recipe cottage cheese is the weirdest thing I don't think I've ever tried cottage cheese it kind of I don't know why it just I feel a bit sorry for cottage cheese I feel like it really doesn't get much attention and I feel like maybe it should get some more attention than but at the same time have you seen it it looks a bit it's a bit funny. So all of the recipes that I came into counter into, 
into contact with were like three stars and I, whenever I do a recipe I always try and look for a five star recipe so hopefully this one's good a teaspoon of salt that is quite a lot of salt bosh in we go okay and then we just knead it all together very simple we love simple easy recipe right bosh on you go do your thing turn into a dough don't disappoint me now, I almost feel like I'm doing Great British Bake Off technical challenge. It's not very explanatory. This is looking like a dough, but then it says roll it out. All the cottage cheese, apparently it should be quark as well. Oh gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't disappoint yourself, Grace, you've got this. I'd like to know how many sales cottage cheese has, because I've never really heard anyone buying cottage cheese regularly. It says you can make them whatever size you want. So I'm making them the size I normally make my scones, because they do seem quite scone-like, if you will. Ta-da! We have our gorgeous little guys ready to go. They don't have any raising agent in. Hopefully these are gonna be okay. And then we brush with egg and sprinkle with cheese. Time is going off. It's time to check them. They are out and they look quite good, to be honest with you. We're gonna put them on a plate and let it cool down. Actually, I should probably put them on a cooling rack. Beautiful. I'm at my working station, ready to have a little working brekkie because I've got stuff to do, but I really, I'm so excited. This looks absolutely delicious. It's a bit doughy in the middle, and I don't know if that's because of the cottage cheese or, I don't know, maybe that is what it's supposed to be like. It's a bit like flaky. Mmm. I wish that the middle was cooked, but flavour's good, texture's good, other than the raw middle. There are little lumps of cottage cheese, but I probably next time might use cork instead of cottage cheese. Overall, again, another roaring success that I would never have normally tried. And it also says you don't always have to put the cheese on top, but I think the cheese really elevates it. Mm. Good morning, good morning. We are making um, the Thai rice soup. This looks like something I would never have for breakfast. So we're willing to give it a go. In here, we've got our rice, our onion, and our lemongrass, and we leave that to cook. And it's weird because I'm personally used to obviously like sauteing rice, but I mean, not rice, onion. So we'll see how that goes. It's kind of good because it's one of those things that doesn't require lots and lots of effort. So I've just left this in the pan to cook away the little stock and everything for 20 minutes. And now we need to add our there's it is exactly 20 minutes and now we add our pork to that which feels weird to me because i would normally like sear it off first but we're gonna follow it to the t because that's how they do it and this was like when i did the filipino day things didn't feel quite normal to what i was used to but they turned out superb oh i need to push out the lemongrass find that little lemongrass in there yeah that's it out you get oh pants this is like a little it's like a little spa for the lemongrass, isn't it? The pork has really absorbed all of that. It's not really looking soupy anymore. I'm like, do I need to add more stock? But the recipe doesn't say to. Now we add in the coriander, the spring onions, the lime juice, the fish sauce, all of that jazz. So that's just gonna go in there. And then we just take some of the soup and dish it up in a little bowl. Then we dress it with the spring onions, coriander and some fried onions. Okay, so this is breakfast. You know what? It actually didn't take that long at all to make. It was quite a speedy process. Um, so I can see how this would be maybe a viable option. And I am not going to lie. I'm going to be transparent. This doesn't, isn't appealing to me at 9am in the morning. But we're going to try it and hope that I like it. And I'm not the biggest rice fan. It's not my favorite carb. Hot. It could have, maybe I haven't, my fish sauce wasn't that strong. I feel like it needs a little bit more flavor. The lemongrass and the coriander are like key. You definitely need those in there. They are quite nice. Thanks for some. Can you see her nose? Sniffy sniff. A very good, wholesome, nutritious breakfast. Like, it's got the protein, it's got the carbs, it's got the, do you know what I mean? It's got everything you need in there. The more I eat it, the more I am warming to the idea. Actually, I reckon on like a winter's morning, this would be really, guys, I think I'm coming around to the idea. Now, honestly, the more I eat it, the more into it I am. So, would recommend to try it and see what you think. It's actually very flavorful. I don't know what I was talking about. Welcome to another day for Grack 
Um, we're here today and we're doing Portugal. Yes, I uh, it is a bit later now because I've had to let my dough rest. Here it is, we're making these little Portuguese uh, coconut buns, which look incredible. Now this was a really, really sticky dough. So I'm hoping it's gonna be all right to actually make. Oh, it's so soft and pillowy. It's an enriched dough, basically. And then we cut it and we put this like crusty little coconut filling on top. So, oh, it's so soft and cute. Okay, we need to cut this up. Now, I am excited for today because, oh, I'd love to be going on holiday right about now, but alas, that will not be happening anytime soon. Um, and the breakfast that we have is giving me such holiday vibes. I'm even gonna make freshly squeezed OJ. I don't know why I keep telling you what I'm gonna do, because you're gonna see it on the journey. It's like when vloggers are like, I'm about to go shopping. And then you see them shopping, it's like, well, yeah, sweetie. You just told me that. Little tiny ball. I wish I had a real life prover. I'll see you when I rub them all. Right, here are the little buns and then we brush them with egg. They don't all fit in one tray, but I've tried to make them because I'm lazy. So they might all prove and go big, but I can't be bothered to clean another tray, all right? Doing 45 minutes. <gasps> oh no! I need to get the proper proving thing. Okay, and now we put on, I made this like little coconutty crusty thing which is like coconut sugar and egg and we put it on these which could be a bit tricky because you don't want to make them you don't want to squish them because they've just been proved and now we need whilst these are baking we need to prepare the rest of our fine fine brekkie this is what they look like pre-oven okay we're gonna make ourselves some orange juice now i'm a bit sad because i've seen this thing on tiktok of these like big juicer things where you like press them down and the oranges just pop out but we don't have that we're just gonna do it ourselves you know i've got these big boy oranges they're like oranges i feel are satisfying i feel like oranges don't get the credit they deserve i feel like they're they're, they're literal sunshine do you know what i mean oh, i don't think this is even going to fit in my juicer it's too big look at that that's never gonna work get in there all right, do what you're supposed to do. How many oranges is in a Tropicana can, like juice carton? Because one orange has produced the measliest amount. I'm gonna have to juice another. Okay, another, we've made our orange juice, it's right here, just chilling. Um, and another thing we're gonna make is actually my sister's favorite. She loves this. I've never had one because it's, I would just rather have Nutella in it or something chocolatey. It's a croissant, croissant, I never know how to say it, croissant. Whatever, I put ham and cheese in it. And apparently these are the best toasted. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of cheese. Well, I'm gonna toast this sucker, like grill it, so it gets all squashed and melty and stuff. Just did a check-in with the coconut buns and they're looking very golden, so I might have to cover them with tin foil because we all know my oven. See if these puppies are cooked. Oh wow, they grown up. Okay, this is what they look like. They're kind of like brioche rolls with this like crusty coconut filling. Yes, this guy is a little more sun kissed than the others. Right, <laughs> breakfast is served. We have a full array. Oh, you can't really see. I'm gonna make my orange juice first, obviously with the Love Heart ice cubes because that is imperative. So, oh, a little lump fell out. Ta-da! Should we do a little break apart and see if she's gonna all... Oh my gosh, this actually looks... How? Okay. Mmm. That's quite good. Mmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That is so good. Right. Let's try the orange juice just to cleanse the palate. Oh, that is so much better than store-bought stuff. It's got a tang, but it's delicious. Wow. Love that. Okay. It's like I'm get to try everything. It's like I've made my own hotel breakfast buffet. Okay, let's go for the little coconut bun now. Let's try her out. That's a good texture. That's like soft. It's kind of like brioche. That is insane. Oh wow. That bun is so soft and like rich. And then you've got the crust and the crunch. My dad. He's gonna dig those. He's absolutely gonna love it. I just know it right now. He's literally gonna, oh my gosh. I'm not even the biggest fan of coconut, but with the like crunching, wow, Portugal. I could have your brekkie again. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Good morning, everyone. It's 6.30. Um, I've woken up early today for my, for my last breakfast because I want mum and dad to have it because I know there's going to be a lot of food. So I said I would make it for them before they had work. Um, so we're rustling up our Scottish breakfast. This one was hard to find all of the ingredients for, I'm not going to lie. I really couldn't find everything that I needed, but we're going to try and make some of it. I've got the sausages on in the air fryer to make it a bit speedier, and I'm going to cook bacon. But there's two types of sausages in the Scottish breakfast. There's link sausages and there's lawn sausages. But they didn't have lawn sausages, they're basically like square sausage beef patty things. So I'm going to make my own. I feel like these look similar to the ones I saw online, so they're going to go into the oven. Honestly, this is there are so many elements that fry ups are already quite stressful. Um, but also, I just want to say, hey Scott, I'm sorry uh, if this isn't correct. As always with these videos, I just typed online what's in a proper Scottish breakfast. So hopefully, I'm doing you guys proud. I don't want to let you down, you know. And now we have this haggis which I have never ever had before. Put to pieces and place in microwave, cover up and cook on high. I'm actually shocked that the supermarket had it. The one thing that the supermarket didn't have, which when I just checked my list, I don't have time to make it, otherwise you know I would have made it, were potato scones, I think. Um, and I actually really would have liked to make them, but we're on a tight schedule, tight schedule here. I've got to get things done. Right guys, I think we've got five to 10 minutes. I'm going to check on our list, just to check we've got everything. Um, I'm really actually got about the potato scones, and I wish I could rush them up right now. It's beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes. How's our bacon? We love our bacon crispy. Oh yeah, get crispy boy. Get. We've got the last element about to fry our eggs. Yeah, that's right. We've got to get the pan nice and hot. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we've nearly done it. Fry, fry up the stress Almost more stressful than a roast. I guess check. Apparently the time has just gone off. What the heck? Is that... It stinks. Is that what it's supposed to look like? Boom, here we go. We've got everything on the plate. The mushrooms, the tomatoes, the lawn sausage, oh. the lynx sausage, the bacon, oh. the egg. How does it feel? It feels great. You love it? Yeah. Banksy's well gel, aren't you, hon? There you go. I'm going to try the black pudding first. I won't lie. That's haggis, honey. Haggis. What's Where's the difference? The they said either black pudding or haggis. Oh, okay. Nice, actually. Mm, it is. It's not bad, even though I've mellowed it. Okay, Let's like do the egg test. Oh, yeah. Poop. I am stuffed. Dick a fork in me, I am done. How did we find that? Lovely. Did you enjoy it? Mm. I, like, I like the potato, the hash brown, or the thing you couldn't find for them. Yeah, we were actually really disappointed. I think that would have elevated it. Having that little guy in there. Well, this has been a fun video. I hope you've enjoyed. And what do we say? Peace out, punks. Peace out, steak night.